Okay, everybody, I've got changed. And actually, I now only have about a couple hours to work on it because, uh, well, to be honest with you, I got some uh, some game to watch today at 3.30. So that's okay. This is beautiful. It's 12.30. And uh, I got my backdrop lights out because it's all going to be shop lights over here, too, next to my saw. And I wanted to show y'all, I'm going to break this up in part one and two so y'all can see the whole process that I'm doing. Y'all, I took the scales and remember I lined them up, I traced it, and I cut out and got as close as I could to the contour. Okay, you see where the uh, pivot screw hole is? And I'm going to use that lanyard hole. I'm going to drill that out on this one first. And then I'll do this second, and then they're going to sandwich together. That's how I did my other ones. Okay, I'm going to sandwich it together. It's going to hold it tight. And then I'm going to put it on my vise, and I'm going to take my new Dremel tool with the sanding. Now, I have dials. I told you that's what I like using, but I don't think I have the right size. If not, that's okay. I got these uh, skewers that I stuff into the hole until it's nice and tight. I break them off. So as I sand, I can sand the wood too. It just makes it a lot easier. Okay, so uh, I haven't tried my blade up there. I got new blades, remember, from uh, for my saw, scroll saw. So I'll put that on too. Anyway, this is the beginning of it. We'll just call it like part one. It might be part two, part three. But this is uh, making uh, micarta scales for a folding knife. And if it fails, there would not be a video at all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be get, I'm gonna have some fun here. Y'all take care. Sog out. Okay, everybody, this is that uh, Harbor Fate drill bit set I got last week. Nine bucks, man, on sale. Isn't that awesome? <clears throat> Those are uh, titanium bits. Um, I just went through a couple of bits and I had to find one that would go through, go, goes through the pivot hole and the scale. Okay. Which it does, but it also has to go through the liner right there. Now, if most of you know, you might, you might not, but on pivot screws, they're usually, uh, I call it like half moon, has a flat side to it. So that's what this side is. And if you notice the drill bit is a little tight there, but I think I'm gonna be all right with that. So, I mean, I'm not gonna carve out a half moon. I put a little clamp here to kind of hold it and that might not work either. This stuff is tough, man. See what I need to do. There we go, my chuck. There we go. We're through. Wow. Yeah, I was reading up on it. This, um, this material is one of the best and hardest. This and G10. So, the pivot screw is going to fit right in there like that. Alright, I'm going to end that video. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go forward and get back to you. Kind of an update. Alright. I didn't have that tight.
Just being honest with you. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. Check this out, guys. Those screws that I went ahead and drilled, that's gonna hold the pocket clip into the liners. I used skewers and jammed them in both sides. I did find a dial that went through and it's really tight. This is pretty solid. This is probably the best one out of the other two. So now it's a process of sanding this along the uh, the shape with the uh, the new Dremel setup I got. Okay, just want to show you that. Okay, guys. Uh, first of all, the scroll saw works. Okay, this worked. I changed the blade to the uh, to the Olson blades. It works great. The problem I had was the uh, the pegs in there gets caught on there. So what's going to happen? I'll, I'll I'll work out something where I, I'm going to be using that definitely. Okay. So then I went to uh, this little thing right here, which is great for the detail. Okay, which I'm going to be using here in a minute. But for these big cuts. I tried the little belt sander. I forgot I had the wrong uh, belt grind on there because I bought knife stuff. Uh, I started to use that on my roto zip. Okay, look at that, that little little circular saw blades, man. So it was cutting, but it was like a, it was hard to control. So it gets down to the sanding disc, the wheel, which I have on the detailer but I'm using my roto zip and I'm carving the shape with it. Okay, this is gonna be part one because I think I have my videos up for this, but you can see I'm on my vise and I'll show you what I'm doing. So it's like I've been doing on the others, except I'm using this heavy duty roto zip. I'm gonna get the major uh, shape out of it. Like yay. Don't if you can see that. So I'm gonna get the major shape out of it. And then I'll use the detailer. And then once I get all that done, that's the easy part. Cause then I gotta flip this over and I have to uh, cut out the inside, uh, carve it out so it holds the uh, the liners. That's the tricky part. Okay, this is gonna be my card of scales on a folding knife, part one. I'm gonna end it right here. We'll see how far we get. I'm gonna go inside for one second and get me a green tea. That's right, an Arizona green tea with honey and ginseng. I didn't get paid for that. That's not a commercial. That's what I drink. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Sog out. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to show you something here in a second. This was the secret. No wonder I burn up my Dremel tools. I'm telling you this. Micarta scales and G10 scales is some really hard stuff. Now, I was asked about, and I'm very excited about doing it. I want to get into... Uh, I want to do a couple of wooden handles. No, that's going to be a lot of fun. I can finish it. But here's the roto zip. So far, you can see where I'm getting. Isn't that great? So far, it's coming out good. So now, I'm going to do an overhead shot for you guys. That was using the roto zip. Now, to tell you how I know I burned up the Dremel tool, I'm almost down on that sanding wheel. So when people think about the cost of a knife, and all you knife makers out there, I have so much respect for you. I am such a rookie at this, but I am learning. It's not so much the material. The material ran me $10 for two slabs, okay? But I go through so much of the, the, uh, the supplies, you know what I mean? So let me get this set up 
and we're going to try using this little handheld because I'm ready to, I got it off the vise. You see how the uh, pegs have held in there really nice? It's nice and tight. So I'm going to finish it off with a little uh, hand sander. This little attachment here from my Dremel. This is awesome. It's hanging up uh, right there. Let me get an overhead shot. This is part two. Okay, guys? Okay, I'm, I'll move this over. Yeah, I think you can see. Okay, what I'm gonna do is turn this on. Just to let you know if it's loud, it's because the, my phone's right here, uh, mounted at the top, and this is right here. I can't help it, so bear with me. But uh, that's the only way to do it. I do have it on high. Yeah, almost high. Keeping set, yeah, there you go. Isn't that a beautiful thing? You wear a mask. Oh yeah, this is great. Is that awesome? So I'm gonna finish uh, doing that, getting a good outline on it, make sure all this is even right here as much as I can. And then I'll show you again, and then I'm gonna be knocking these pegs out. Because, um, yeah, this is all gonna get tricky now. Alrighty, so I got, this is a great day here. I got a nice fan going. Make sure you got a, your dust mask on because this is all, this is some bad stuff, man. Okay, awesome. Okay. The cool news is this thing being up here, it's a little warm right here. That's just from that cable running through there. But all this is pretty cool. You know, last time it got pretty hot because of the dust. And uh, there you go. Not too shabby, huh? I have a couple areas. See, I'm gonna have fun. Uh, I can customize that little jipping right there. Was there for the uh, the thumb hole opening? Is this a flipper? And I like the jipping up here. I'll probably get that. Well, you see the dust. That's why you wear a dust mask. This is all over the place. So I'm at that point. There's a couple of areas. I'm at that point, though, that I'm going to be taking this apart. See those indentions right there? That's some of the stuff i got to carve out. That's for the, uh, the pocket clip. Yep. Pretty awesome. All right, I don't know how far I'm gonna go. This is part two. Okay, I wanted to show you, uh, I wanted to stop for a minute because I was already getting involved. Uh, check it out. I've already pulled the pegs out back here and I gotta keep this together. I'll show you why. These two belong to each other. Right here. There's, these are all the pieces of wood that I had jammed in there. See, that works. And, I said LED light. Uh, when I when I get back into sanding after I get the, uh, the carve out done, let me keep this together too. Let me pay attention, Steve. Pay attention. Okay, this is that side. See how that works? That dowel was perfect for the, this this hole. So this is gonna go, this that tight one, this has that D shape. 
Let's hope I don't break it right here, right live on camera. Okay, now you can see, this has to stay with us. Okay, y'all see me now. Okay, underneath here, you see? See that indention? See what I gotta carve out? That's where the liner sits in. So, on this side, I gotta trace that line around and carve all that out right here. Then I'll get it all back together. I'm making a short story long as hell. I'll get it all back together, put the pegs in, and do the uh, flat down sand. But hold on a second. This, uh, this is the scary part. This is the important part. See what I'm talking about? Okay, that's, uh, see the indention? I gotta carve that out where the liner sits right in there. Okay, and I gotta take that little end piece I just showed you and I gotta carve that out. Wow, I told you that's, uh, I don't know if y'all realize that, that's not, that's not gonna be easy. But it's a nice challenge, and I'll be so proud if I get it done. Okay, this is part two. If I get started on this, I'll add it on. If not, we'll go on to part three at another time. It's, uh, shoot, it's 2.35. Okay, this is cool. Another lesson I learned today. Save your scraps of my car. Cuz. I started sanding uh, right here. I started sanding, I'm getting a little indention. I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna take forever. And I'm using this. I have my sanding wheel. But it's also nice, I have all the bits. I've done investigation. A lot of these I was using for serrations. So I found this bit right here, right there. And let me just show you. I think I'm gonna get that lip, that lip cut, and then take the sander. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All right, I had to show you that. Uh, I'm, I learn every time I do something. Nice to have scraps, experiment, and there's just a smorgasbord of bits to use. And uh, this one right here, hope it holds up for this project, but I know which one to get. All right, sog out. Okay, this is gonna be the last video today, so you'll have a part one, part two today. Uh, I'm still working on one side. I outlined it, you can see where I'm cutting the indent. And let me tell you something, when I get done with this and I say it's handmade, it is handmade. Look how this is starting to fit, let me get it in there. See there? <clears throat> just a little bit more sanding. And what I'm having to do, I'll just show you and then I'll end the video. But this is, uh, if my other one comes out like this, I got it folks. And every tool I bought was worth the money. This thing right here, watch this. This is what I'm having to do. That's why it's by hand, man. See, I knew this wasn't gonna be easy, but I started, what, at 12 o'clock? And I, I've done a little, some other stuff. 
but you can see how this is fitting in. It's going nice and flush. It's got to do a little work on it. Get that in right there. The holes are still lined up. Got to hollow that out a little bit over there. And uh, it's going to be, I'll get the other one. I'll get this done tomorrow, possibly. Now, once I get all this together, I got to pin it. And then I'm going to have to flatten this down a lot. I'm going to have to sand this down a lot. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about a lot. Down to nothing. But this gives me room to do a little uh, curvature. Kind of customize it. All right, y'all have a good evening. Uh, this is it. Saturday, Sal McGundy. Uh, going to finish this up right here. And uh, do a little shop talk, real quick shop talk. Not 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 one of my nine minutes ones. I'm gonna finish getting this with this will lay in there.